What is it? Morning little. <laughs> Morning, little commas. Welcome to today's Convember update. It's day, what day is it? Uh, it's day 19. 19, it's day 19. Welcome, little commas, to today's Convember update. It's day, oh yeah, it's day 19. <laughs> That's my impression of you, Scott. <laughs> Let me just adjust the camera for no discernible benefit. <laughs> How's the sound? Is the sound all right, everyone? What happened there? Now focus. Let me just do some. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? You didn't want to say hello yesterday. No, I didn't wash my hair yesterday. So you got her on a good week. <laughs> How was that? Do I make the cut? Uh, well, let me know. Nat, yes. <laughs> oh, that's another one I should have done. Yeah. Comment below. <laughs> About what? About anything. Anyway, please, just please, just comment below. So if you want Nat back for, if you want her to do a whole uh, episode. <laughs> uh, um, it would take too long. Morning, little commas. Um, I, I've just had an espresso. <laughs> So there we go. This is going to be a short one, like I said a minute ago. Um, it's not going to be an official full one, even though we're about 22 minutes of recording time after Nat's lovely intro. Welcome, little commas. It's, um, uh, <laughs> Phil's got a thumbnail going out tonight. I've just got back in, uh, as you can tell. Uh, <laughs> right, let's just take this off. So. <laughs> Today's is a proper espresso um, show. It's Friday for you, so, I mean, who wants to watch 20 minutes of me today? <laughs> I was just gonna say, who, what I'll do, I'll, I'll record as long as this, this, I drink this, so uh, then I sort of realise, so. Yeah, quite late, it's four o'clock, which means the light is rubbish, so it might be really, uh, uh, I can't remember the word, behind me. It's, I've got some really noisy shoes on. Taking me this long to undo my shoes, still here. Are you going to come and say hello today, Nat? <laughs> to be honest, we haven't got time with the light. The light is 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 slowly dying, just like like the views on my main channel, really. So, no, there we go. Uh, um, I've just scheduled a, a bloody YouTube video to go up, and I, I scheduled it last night to go up today. And I've just forgot it was going up at four, so I've just had an alert on on thing saying he thought he was taking a photo. So go and watch that video. Uh, it was more like this. That's it. Three thumbs up already. Better than bloody behind the car. Yes, Mo Trim. <laughs> oh, so, shush. Com Hunter. Mo Trim, I'm sorry, I, I haven't trimmed it up yet. Um, I've cut myself shaving though. Mole update, it's it's healing over nicely. Thank you very much for asking, even though no one has today, yesterday, today. I haven't been, I've been literally all over the place today. And so I haven't been even looking at the comments and stuff. That's why I'm a little bit flustered. I've got lots of things I want to say. Uh, well done. I haven't got a lot of time to do it. I've probably got, I mean, the, the lighting, I've probably got about, I don't know. Eight minutes of lighting. I want to say this. This is the that, that kind of episode where you can go back. Like I'll do a full episode tomorrow for your Saturday morning. And again, you have got better things to do on a Friday than listen to me for twenty minutes. So I've just been down to Stuart Lowen's though. Little Ian, Michael Horan, 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 Michael Horan. I'd like to congratulate Ian and Michael on guessing the nearest time to dig a jar of peanut butter while Bullet Bay was trying to do race as hard as he can. Cheers, guys. Take care. Uh, you're next, you, Stuart. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I can't eat peanut butter that fast, and my legs certainly don't turn that quickly. No. Thanks, Stuart. 
they're the two winners for the prizes from the guess how fast I can drink the eat the peanut butter so huge thank you to Stuart he's a big supporter of the channel thank you um, go down go down and if, if you're local and you do go down to Stuart Owens go and say oh I've seen you on Com Hunt TV even if you haven't just go and say that and see what he says he wants a t-shirt done special special Stuart Owen t-shirt um, so we'll get that sorted yes donators Nick Parsons Michael Davidson and Russell Lyle uh, Nick Parsons uh, great local photographer because I own a camera <laughs> Lots of the club events would go, oh, we need someone to take photos. Who are we going to ask? Let's ask Scott. And I go, oh, shit. Um, and I think, well, I wanted to do the event or something. So then I go, usually to Gary Scarlett and Nick Parsons, I would say, and sometimes Jan Wildenheim, I would say, guys, help me out here. If you're, a phot if you're into your photography, I mean, those two are quality. I'm just, a, I'm just an auto photographer, as I've said in previous episodes. Most of the people in um, that need some event for phot photography or some of that, they don't really understand the work that's involved. And we can always say thank you to those guys uh, for the great photos. And I love getting the photos. Ed's such a, he loves getting, Gary did some great photos of Ed, so did Nick at the hill climb and stuff. And um, I think Gary Scarlett's just had Ed photo shared by Tafosi, the, the bike brand that support Ed. Well done Gary. There are, again, <laughs> I won't go on too much here. <laughs> I'll just say um, you don't appreciate the work that goes in. It's not just the eight hours they spend walking around an event taking photo. I mean, that's bad enough. Going home, going through 3,000 photos of, of the Grand Prix, or if you think you had three or four of every uh, uh, rider at the hill climb, it's just crazy. And the worst thing is, if you're a rider as well, the worst thing you can do is like comment on a Facebook post or page or event and just say like that night and just go, eh, the photo's up yet. <laughs> Don't ever do that, just just don't. So um, you guys don't get enough thank you. So I'm saying thank you now to anyone that's drawn into event photography. Yeah, don't get enough credit. So well done, guys. That's Nick. I'll talk to you more about Nick tomorrow. Michael Davidson. <laughs> I'd like to think that I got Michael into cycling. Um, he is technically a friend... Nat's friend, or our friend, but Nat's friend's... friend... husband... Anyway, uh, so, um, yeah, <laughs> Michael's a legend. You might have seen Michael. He's made a very quick cameo. Have a guess. Have a guess. Comment below. Get, have a guess about when Michael cameoed in the main episode. I think it was the main episode. I'll give you a clue. It was it was labyrinth related, okay? I should get really itchy now, so I need to trim this up. Such a funny guy. He's from Edinburgh, so I can't wait to get back up to Edinburgh and see you guys. And um, Russell Lyle. Russell Lyle is uh, a wingman for Lewis Don, taking on Bullet in the local... Uh, I think so. I think Russell... You'll see Russell Lyle in the latest update... Uh, here so you'll see him quite high up on the legendary status page for for Northfield he's been helping Lewis out yeah so again more on that tomorrow L Lewis got a com yesterday off conk it shit is hitting the fan I think we've missed the the, the time to get into the free press uh local local paper no one buys it anyway but I think we've missed missed it to get it in there in time so well done to Lewis Lewis is killing it at the moment he's probably at the top of the leaderboard bullets probably at the top of the lead leaderboard Russell's probably at the top of the leaderboard who else? Ian's nowhere near the top of the leaderboard and I'm under there, so there we go. I did say yesterday I'd show you the Cameron Jeffers t-shirt and give, uh, Tim just calls up and says, Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Scott. Is that there? I can't really do it. No, he's from... Can't do a Tim accent. Can anyone else do a Tim Fulford accent? Comment below if you can. Tim, yes. Um, um, uh, again, I'll feel you in properly tomorrow. I just want to say a huge thank you to Bullet. Uh, so that is a week's worth of Pink Monster. So thank you, mate. Uh, left outside the, the, the gate yesterday. So I'm going to... I'll probably get for a few cans tonight editing this espresso thing. So it is a, it is an espresso one. It is shorter. So I, I, you know, those longer episodes, no matter how sort of good you can get them on the edit, I'm very conscious that I don't want to take the piss out of your time as well. So I'll try and keep them short. Um, and I'll go long when I have to. Like, I think tomorrow's going to be long. Speaking of bullies... You don't, with Bullet, this is what people don't understand with Bullet. Hold on. I, I just get, look, I don't know why it's saying not delivered. Not not delivered, but this is what happened. So I just get this. Your KOM on Siege Lane Sprint is safe for now, mate. I just had a go at it and I came second and Michael. I missed out by two seconds of your time. So then I send back one and go, Oh, bloody.
somebody get back out there and go and get it, Bullock. Then he sends one back and goes, It's coming to rain now anyway, slightly, and the wind is quite strong headwinds. But um, I didn't have the segment come up on my machine, which I don't think it starred, but I'll start it now and upload it, and then next time I'll be going even faster and see if I can get it off you. Oh. And then I thought, did he just laugh or did he just get cramp there? <laughs> so then I said, What happened there? Did you get cramp? And then he said, I was just trying to talk and think at the same time. But you know, it's not so easy for me to do that. I think I hurt his feelings. I was like trying to say it sounded like you had cramp. So then I my said, laugh. No, I was on about you sound like you had cramp. No, it was just um, my laugh. <laughs> so now I can't tell if Bullet is laughing or he's got cramp. <laughs> Uh, he has got uh, a very nice watch, though. <laughs> that didn't focus, did it? Probably a good, good point. A quick look at the comments, because, um, again, I haven't... Um... Cool, Phil, love it. It's got hers again, you're right. <sighs> testing, testing. Um, I told... <laughs> Why does my face do this when it's like... Um, so we try the light. I try and unscrew a bulb or two. Hey, but... The more I, the more, oh, to look at the light now. I've just spoken to Phil. He's got a video uh, going up tonight. So your last night. Oh, before I go. <laughs> uh, been down to superior level again today. Take some photos and stuff. Guess what, who I caught watching themselves on behind the comm as I walked through the door? Bill, he loves watching himself. <laughs> Ollie says, whenever he's on the, there's, they've got a channel as well, and he's like, he just, he'll just sit and watch himself. So uh, he was watching the clip of him laughing his head off. Um, so, and now he'll probably be watching this. So if anyone can get a bit of video of him watching this, watching him watching that, and uh, conception. Right, just before I go as well, um, team, whoever's on the Movember team, Phil, you don't have to do it if you, if you don't want to put a fake mustache on. Whoever's on the Me Movember team, I've got a plan for the last day of Movember. I want to do something special for the last video. I've told Nat, she thinks it's an amazing idea, one of the best ideas I've ever had. How, I can't, I've checked Movember, I can't sort of send you an update, all of you. How, how do you want to do this? I've got to get you all in a chat. I need something from you. I need a little clip from you. What should we do? WhatsApp? Right, I'll record a video. I'll record a secret video, unlisted, don't share it. I'll put that in a link to all of you, I think. I guess I've probably got. I need you to do something, ideally this weekend or, or early next week, and uh, we are going to break the fucking internet. <laughs> Hit that like button, because again, the first 10 people that watched this, this uh, God, yesterday's episode, 10 views, five thumbs up. So there's at least five people there that are just not thumbing up. So that was that was the early stats. We're hitting the big <laughs> big views now. So and again, I've got I've got a YouTube light. This is for when I do my Zwift sessions, live streams over the winter. What's me fucking? There we go. So, but that's currently what I've I've been putting my um my thing. I've just put that there quickly. I need to change the batteries. So yeah, there we go. There's my view. How'd you like me now? You can see how dark it is. Hold on. Is that better? So there's my view of you. That's what you look like. Oh, fucking funny bone. <sighs> Nick Parsons wanted to see the bloopers as well. Uh, funny thing is, most of the bloopers are kept in, but I will I will sort that out for you, Nick, as a thank you for the donation. Well, if you're still talking to me after tomorrow. Uh, forgot to say, the answer for yesterday's question was, which famous British department store briefly sponsored a professional cycling team in the 90s? Du -du -du. Number 18, Nicholas Roach. Page, Arthur. Page 41. Oh, that's all right then, so I didn't ruin it yesterday, we're not. Where's the answers? Answers page two. Oh, answers page one four one. The hell? Who designed this? They must have they must worse than behind the com. One four one. It was Harrods. Who said Harrods? Who said Harrods, Nat? I think it was throwbacks. I think it was Lee Baxter. It was Lee Baxter. 
Yeah, Harrods. Harrods was the answer. Um, do you want to do another one? I'm trying to find ones which, um, that was in the difficult section, so hold on, books, uh, sprinters. Oh, this is a good one. It's probably going to be quite hard to Google this one. Excluding Italy, which country has provided the most riders that have taken part in the Giro d'Italia? For the two people uh, that aren't cyclists watching this, the Giro d'Italia is like the Tour de France in Italy. For Italy. <laughs> it's like a grand tour. Well, it is a grand tour. Um... <laughs> oh, God. Lee Baxter, we also need your address. I need your address. I think I've messaged you on Patreon, mate. Got to get to the bloody post office with all the prize winners. Um... If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit this video, hit this video, hit this video, hit this video. Um, don't forget to please hit that subscribe button as well and we'll see you uh, for another Convember chat tomorrow morning.